<laughs> Hello all, and welcome to Brain in My Head. I did actually try to record some video footage for you earlier, but the recording corrupted. So let's uh, have a look. Controls just tells you a few of the keys. WASAT is actually for moving. Uh, option wise, there are a few options outside of the game on the launcher. You can set your resolution. And that's about it, and I think motion blur. So let's dive on in and play. So basically that's it. That's your lot. Five levels. So which one should we start with? Let's just start with uh, the last one. Oh, no, let's just start with this one. It's all pretty much the same thing. Kill three waves of zombies. Then fight a boss. And it, that is it. The entire game is about half an hour's worth to complete. As you see, they've got a load of samey looking weapons. And it also it, it changes from time to time as to what guns you can get. Let's try that magical stage event. Oh, it's actually since we've done some damage this time. So, yeah, expect a lot of bugs, glitches. Half the time you're never sure if it's your weapons that's killing you. Have you got the other good gun yet? It's utterly random as what guns you're getting. So this game, I'm pretty sure this used to be on Steam already. Under the name of Electric Zombies. Or at least something very much like it. But this is, yeah, this is all it does. I don't know why moving. Oh, suits me. I don't know what happened. We just stood on that a minute ago. But... Yeah, there's lots of various bugs and glitches that will get you killed. And... Oh, well, they... Yeah. <laughs> So this game, I'm pretty sure this is the same game. It literally came out of Steam, and a day or so later, it was removed from Steam. As you can see, you've got a selection of samey weapons that ain't dying and not dying. Uh -huh. Oh no, no, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're feeling the horde. They start moving again yet? Oh, now they start. Let's try that thing again. They're just running a straight line at me. So yes, uh, it was literally on Steam for about a day and then just got removed. And you know it's got to be bad if Steam quality control actually gets off their backsides and puts in a day's work. So this appears to be its at least spiritual reincarnation, its spiritual successor perhaps. So now it's giving me another gun. Sometimes you get all guns, you don't get all guns. Not with this sort of feedback as much. Let's try that thing again just because we've got it. And some of the guns seem to have a secondary fire, or sometimes they have a secondary fire. So, music's good. So yes, it's already been on Steam, taken off of Steam. Oh no, is it, maybe it's a pickup chip. Is that, oh no, it's just a body. Oh, this black boxing, I'm never sure what that's supposed to be about. So yes, graphically, as you can see, it's... Uh, if it's purposely trying for some sort of individual art style or not, or is it just they couldn't be bothered or they're not very good at the graphics. Some of the particle effects on some of the weapons is quite nice. Alright, oh, that was a zombie. Oh, there we go. Now, see, now I've got another weapon. Oh yeah, this one's cool. You can just hold down, hold down M1. At least some of the parts of it are nice for the uh, 
for some of the weapons, muzzle flashes, and that kind of thing. Music's good, but this really is the game. Buggy. Oh yeah, you can only fight the, the boss with this one gun. Oh, let's stuck on that. Can we get on there now, please? For some reason you're only ever allowed to use this one gun fighting bosses. I say that, that, how? Ah, oh, there we go. I actually blew them up this time. So that was it. I've pretty much seen everything for brain in my head. Talk about minimalist. So, I suppose on the upside, the controls are smooth and it's cheap. What's one with the. I think it was this one with the. Oh, this one. This is like the last level. This is probably the most inventive level. There's also a level when you'll go, but you've got to go up in a, an elevator, and half the time the enemies just fall off it. And using anything other than the starting gun will kill you. <laughs> I found a lot of the guns. I think it's it this one. Oh. I'm like more dan likely to do damage to myself from the enemy <laughs> from my guns than I am from the enemy. We say that and then just blew up randomly. Yeah, the game has a habit of doing that a lot. So you basically you've got half an hour's worth. So I'm just sure if those things there are lasers try to kill me. Sometimes they seem to blow me up, sometimes they don't. Yes. Basically, if ever you've got this gun, it looks like that German MP44. So I'm guessing some sort of acid flippery going on here. This is the only gun worth using. It just absolutely annihilates everything. And this jump here half the time will kill you. Ah, oh, did it again. Launch so. Yes, you have to play through a level in a complete city and there's no checkpoints. So if you stuff up and die, then back to the beginning. If one of the many, many bugs kills you, back to the beginning. Oh, come on, that was a clear jump. No, I'm not doing this just to make the game look bad. It doesn't need any help in that department, I can assure you. So yes, randomly get given different guns. Sometimes you get the good ones, sometimes you won't. Can you fight the boss with a crap one? Oh, that, no, that was my fault. I didn't hit my sprint at the right time. So yes, really not very good, even though it is only a pound or whatever it is. Not even quite a pound. There's very little to recommend it. And you've basically seen the entire game for the most part here. And look at that, my own weapon blast in here. Nearly wiped me out. Oh, and there was one left that I didn't see. That's got to be a Nancy's. Oh, oh, it hurts. Oh. So, yes, this. I'm pretty sure this is the same game, the Electric Zombies and this. I don't know how much of it they've changed, or if they've changed anything, I don't know. Surface scoping really seems to work. Don't know what it is, off. So... Not very much more can add. Um, nice part of the I do like the kind of rocking guitar tracks going on in the background. So your five levels is a lot. You can beat in half an hour. Like I said, I did actually do a complete blind play earlier on. I got right up to the last level, but the recording had corrupted. So, yes. Oh, what? Oh. I was trying to show you, that there's basically a lift that takes you up to the next level. And I think we'll conclude our dealings here. 
So some very strange samey guns that half the time will kill you more than they'll kill the enemy. Uh, I'm not sure if this is an in, you know, a brave attempt at an interesting visual style or just basically laziness on the developer's behalf. So its big selling point is it's cheap. And you know, if you pick up on a set, and it all in the bundle it's bound to be in. Unless Steam actually, I mean, there was a level earlier on when it was these barrels. The barrels have a lethal range of killing you more than the enemies. So very minimalist, buggy to hell as you've seen, randomly die to your weapons. Earlier on I was trying to jump across here and those laser things kept, well, what looked like laser things, and oh, that <sighs> goddamn jump! So yeah, stuff this game. So anyway, all oh, that was brain in my head. Buggy, short, repetitive, ugly. Nice soundtrack. Cheap. So that's the only reason I could recommend this. Um, I'm not recommending it, clearly. As you see, it's, it's bloody awful. But it's, it's Steam for you. Who knows? Maybe the lab, maybe the Steam's quality control will actually stir into action again and remove this dross. I have no idea how it managed to get onto the Steam. It's certainly a lot better out there. So anyway all, thank you for watching, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and let me know you're alive. And I'll see you all next time. Bye now.